Yes, this week, the second Harvest Food Bank is making sure people hit hard by Hurricane Ida still have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Duke Carter was at their event today and brings us the details. The Second Harvest and Win Dixie have teamed up to give away 1,000 turkeys here at the West Bank Bridge Park here in Luligan. As you can see behind me, it is already a major success. Now, people have lined up here at the facility about two hours in advance to get a turkeys and some traditional Thanksgiving side items like cranberry stuffing, which shows that there is still a great need for those who were impacted by Hurricane Ida in St. Charles Parish. Now, we did speak to a lady off camera who says she has been able to relax since the storm hit and get Getting a turkey would help reduce the stress of dealing with the aftermath of Ida. Now, we spoke with partners from Second Harvest and when Dixie about the food distribution. Here's what they had to say, as well as one person who got a turkey. Just hope that they know that we're there for them, that this is what we do, that we are their local grocer, um, and that they can always count on us. We always want to be there for our communities when they need us the most. So a day like today is a lot of fun for us. Since Hurricane Ida came through, we've distributed more than 450,000 pounds of food. So there's still many families out here that are putting their lives back together and will be for some time. All right, man, you know, uh, we have a lot of problems. I lost everything, mm -hmm. you know. My family, you know, going to Texas and all that, you know, because uh, we don't have nothing here. And now I'm trying to bring, bring it back, you know, my whole family, man. Gotcha. So you make making do as best as possible. Yes, indeed. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving going to be the day. Now, the turkeys were donated by Winn-Dixie and, of course, our first come, our first serve a basis. And the goal, again, is to alleviate the stress of those people who have been greatly impacted by Hurricane Ida. For now, the reporting, Duke Carter, Eyewitness News.